Aloha, it's 365 Wife. With Julie and Eric Zemelis. And behind us is a backdrop because we're at our house because we're <laughs> at the news desk of 365. That's right. So today we're going to do a, uh, a sort of, we're, uh, it's a new feature that we're going to start adding uh, monthly is what you're thinking? Yeah, monthly. So we're going to be doing um, an events calendar. So just so you guys know, I've been doing a monthly events calendar on our 365 Hawaii Living uh, website for over a year. And so now we're going to try to make it live. Right. So get this. So some people are not big readers. And so we figured that since we had a pretty large YouTube experience, um, that not only will you find out what's coming up in terms of events and festivals, but it's easier for you to share these videos with your people who might be traveling here and want to know what's going on for a certain month. So um, today we're going to start with what's happening in November with a little bit of a something, something that's happening in early December. I want you guys to know about now. So um, how this is going to go is uh, I'm going to give you basically the big stuff in the first 30 seconds of these updates. Therefore, you kind of just hit you off and, and then we'll kind of di dig in a little bit deeper to some of these other uh, events. But I also want you to know if you have an event that's upcoming, please send it to us and we'll include it in the events calendar that's posted online again at 365yliving.com. If you want to see that, um, you can go there and also just click on the recent post. It's a blog post basically. Share that around. Um, and then also uh, we'll call this out and um, if anybody wants to be able to come in here and actually talk to us eventually, maybe we can go up to that point, almost like oh, a radio program. Yeah. But Hold on for right now. It'll just be us. But you know, we got you know we're, we're open. We're, right, we're always we're always doing innovative things around here. So uh, so uh, okay. So here is your November events calendar. All so, right, go, Julie. Let's okay. see this. Okay, so today right now is November first, and so for the next ten days is the uh, Kona Coffee Festival, and so um, there's a variety of different things that you can attend. Um, and one of the things to get into these different events is that you need to get a five dollar um, uh, button. So uh, we'll give you a little bit more information about that but if you love coffee this is the week for the next 10 days um, also if you love to get dressed up we have the Honoka uh, Renaissance Fair coming up on November 9th uh, from 11 o'clock in the morning till 7 p.m. at night uh, down in uh, Honoka uh, and it's a big deal and it's a little cooler so you can get all dressed up uh, we also have on November 15th the big one that Eric and I are putting together it's the public meeting on the parking issues and it's gonna be held at the West um, Hawaii Civic Center and it's gonna be at 5 p.m. so hopefully you'll show up um, and then on November 30th um, he Hilo is having their Christmas light parade, which starts at 6 p.m. Um, and then upcoming from that, speaking of parades, um, Eric and I are also help spearheading the, uh, the Kona Christmas Parade. <laughs> A few um, so, downtown things, yes. Right, so that's going to be on December 14th and starting at 5 o'clock. So uh, there's your big picture event items, but we're going to dig in a little bit on um, two or three of these. So um, Eric's going right. to tell you a little bit more about what's happening with the Coffee Cultural Festival. With the Coffee uh, Festival, they have a lot of coffee tours. So uh, here are the tours that are out, uh, that are coming up. Uh, on Sunday, 11-3, uh, Greenwell Farm Seed to Cup Farm Tour, and that is uh, uh, at Greenwell Farms, and the tour times are 9.30 and 1.30, okay? And then the other one is Island Sun Coffee, and they are going to, uh, farming coffee with uh, diverse crops is what that is, and that is going to be from 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 1 p.m., and that again is on Sunday the 3rd. And then uh, the UCC Kona Coffee Picking and Farming Experience, and they it's at their store store and the opens at the store opens at nine and the tour starts at ten. Uh, and then we've also got the Buddha Cup tasting. Uh, tasting like fine wine. That kind of ties it together. Coffee and wine together are always a good combination. Right. And that's on Monday. Monday. Monday and Friday. Right. And that is open at 930 to 1. And uh Holla Tree Coffee. Uh, brewing workshop, and uh, that will be at uh, two o'clock uh, um, on Monday the fourth, of course. Malka Meadow Coffee Farm Tours, uh, and that is they have tour times at nine and three p.m. There you go. You know, I've not been to Malka Meadows Farm. I haven't either. So. I know we might want to go there. Yeah, we, maybe we should do a maybe farm we should do a video. Okay, okay. farm tours are the other one that's going on. And then tell them about the art. The fourth annual art event Waimea and it will be held uh, Saturday November 23rd and 24th uh, at um, and there'll be eight big island artists representing a range of mediums uh, selling their work 20% uh, of all the sales will go to the 20% uh, of all the sales will benefit the ranch which is the Anna Ranch Heritage Center and I don't know if you guys know where it is it's kind of uh, as you're coming into Waimea on the left hand side would be right. where I was going to drive yeah and uh, I wanted to include that because a because he's an artist um, but also we did this last year and it was actually pretty cool they yeah. have like a little way to have like um, some coffee with the artists and get a chance to see some local artists. And so if you're, you if you like to you know art, also since it's on a Saturday, um, you can also go to the Waimea um, farm um, farmers market. Farmers markets. Yep, as long so. as it's early on a Saturday morning. 
That's true. Well, actually, until 12 o'clock. Yeah. So you can get your art and your food right in there. Mm -hmm. Um, And then um, also, uh, there's a a Hilo Christmas extravaganza on November 22nd, 23rd, the same time frame as the art experience at the Edith, um, at the uh, Kanaka Ole Stadium. And it is from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. And they're going to be having um, handmade crafts, food, and also door prizes. Mm -hmm. So that kind of kicks off your holidays for you guys right there. There's also going to be a turkey trot at the Fairmont um, right before. Uh, Thanksgiving um, and um, the thing I hear about that one is that they serve free Bloody Marys so okay kick <laughs> off on that wait, wait wait running and Bloody Marys is that kind of <laughs> run first Bloody Mary second I, I, I've run and had had beer that's a good one but the Bloody Mary that this doesn't sound so very appealing so I guess they're, they're known for their free cocktails after is that the race. one where they stick the little bacon in there too is that another yeah one? And, the, and, the, and, and, the, and it's spicy I'm not yeah. these fans on yeah. that one but uh, the mimosas are pretty good um, so anyway so if you want to know more about any of this it's up on the website again at 365hawaiiliving.com and hopefully you guys uh, like this and yeah. also see um, if you like the concept I mean this is kind of one of those things we, we've, we've done we did one, and then we're like, do, do you want it? Do you like it? Is do you like it? Yeah. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. To yeah, give us some, sort of, in. some sort of uh, of understanding. This sounds like it might be worth continuing moving forward. With. Yeah, your feedback. And then also, hey, speaking of Christmas, yep. uh, we are also selling the 2025. Um, Kona calendar and it's my photography that I've taken throughout the year and new this year bonus is I wrote an adventure story for every single one of the photos that was taken so if you'd like one of those they're only $25 um, they will be shipped out on November 22nd so don't wait um, you can go to 365kona.com for that one and, and a big I'll add a little to that that Julie does a great job on these photos these are kind of photos that we've taken throughout the year and uh, they always kind of bring everybody who's not on the island back to the island and that's what it's all about there you so go I mean, and there's a couple cool new things in there like a black sand beach on <laughs> side of the island. Um, so again, it's 365kona.com um, to order that calendar. So with that, we say aloha. aloha.